Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on today's exciting video. We're reacting to the official Ahsoka trailer. So let's get into this right now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, from any parts of the galaxy you might be watching us from. It's here. Finally. Finally, the official trailer of Ahsoka. It's here. We are Ooh. only... Not that far away from the Ahsoka series like coming to the channel. Away. We're a month away. Yeah. We're super excited. I'm super excited. I, <laughs> I can't wait for this show. You won't believe how excited I am. Uh, just, I don't know. It's, it's too exciting. But with that being said, let's get into this trailer reaction right now. Let's not waste any more time. I'm genuinely War excited. It's inevitable. <gasps> One must destroy in order to create. Damn. Is that that guy? Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, yeah. Ray Stevenson, right? We are no Jedi. Oh man! Damn! It looks good. We are. Ooh, the music. Ahsoka. I started hearing whispers. Ahsoka. Of Thrawn's return Ooh. as heir to the. Empire. Are we gonna That's all we saw last face. time. Are we gonna see his face? What happens when we find Thrawn? I mean, it's a trailer, so. Power. Such as you've never dreamed. Wow! Look at that. Oh man! God damn! Oh man! <laughs> I spent most of my life fighting. Oh, Hera, where are you at? The ghost chopper. I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. Mon, mon, mon. You and I both know who could help you with this. So good. Who? Wait, who? She's oh, Sabine. Just Sabine. As stubborn as Sabine. ever. Oh man. That makes your sense. master found you difficult at times. Dude, that's Anakin amazing. never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Anakin. Just like I yeah. walked away from Sabine. Oh. You never made things easy for me. Oh, oh. Sabine. Master. What? Master? Oh, for the sake of the Jedi. Sometimes you have to oh, make Ezra, no one else can. The voice. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Oh, she oh cut her, her helmet, her helmet, her helmet. She cut her hair Yeah, she cut her hair yeah. short, bro. Nice. It looks good. Ooh. Sometimes we have to do it. It looks right, beautiful. The oh, oh, the actual feelings. photo. Yeah. I mean, the actual painting, portrait. Yeah. Buckle up. Wow. Oh, my God. If we don't stop Thrawn. Oh! oh! He looks nice. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly. I'm kind of. Yeah, I'm kind of. Yeah. I'm not here to discuss Speechless? my past. We have a lot of. Yeah, it is the droid. A rebel, always a rebel. Oh wow! Ooh. Wow! Damn! It looks so good. Oh, the Inquisitors. Inquisitors. Find out which one it is. Ooh. He looks so good. August 23rd. Two episode premiere. It looks so good. We're getting two episodes on the 23rd. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. It looks oh, good. Oh, it looks oh, good. Oh, wow. Oh. For, I didn't know how to react when I saw the man's face pop yeah, up. The I man, know. the goat himself, the, the legend eyes. himself. The eyes, the I makeup seen, of his face. I've seen leaks before already where, where they kind of showed his face. Kind of like leaks and stuff like that. I... I you know, actually seeing it officially now, it's 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 just, it's a whole it's nother another feeling. level. It's yeah. another feeling. I wanted to like, yeah, you know, the same yeah. time, but I was like, huh, it's like, is it really? It just, I don't know, I don't know how, to, <laughs> I didn't know how to react in that moment, aside from whatever I, the hell I did. Um, I was just shocked to see him. I mean, not sh um, why should I say shocked? Obviously, we know he's he's gonna be a part of the show. I'm just he's excited a big part to of the see show. I'm just, like. I'm just excited to see him, man. Yeah, I, man. I I love the Admiral Thrawn's character. I love his character. I really do. I think he's one of probably the favorite or one of my favorite Star Wars characters out of all of them. Yeah. I think he's one of my favorites. And it just he's a, he's a badass. I just think he's a badass. And I, we've already seen what he can do in Rebels. We've already seen, if you read the books and stuff like that, you've already known a lot about them. You know, the, the legends and stuff like that, possible canon. But we've seen what he can do with, with in, what, he's, what he did tactics. in Rebels, basically. The genius of his war tactics. Thrawn carried the show. <laughs> yeah. When he came out in Rebels, he carried the show to another level. And that's my opinion. I don't know if other people agree, but he was just... <laughs> A menace, one in, cold ass villain in in Rebels. It's just I, I every time I hear the 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 theme song, him and his just the way he speaks and stuff like that. It's just so badass, and that's why I really really like his character. And now seeing him in live action, yeah, is is amazing. And not only that, but the the same same voice actor. I know. Tell me now, and, and I love that. I loved how they they kept that. 
Because for so long, we've been thinking Benjamin Cumberbatch, this person, that person, this person. Just keep them the same. Yeah. I can't wait to hear his first couple of uh, lines or words. That's going to be amazing. I mean, we already and, heard it. And the theme song the as well. And and they're going to bring so much from the actual Rebel show back to this live action. Clearly, we saw that right now in the portrait. Yeah. That portrait looks so, so... I mean, it's the same portrait, but it looks exactly the same as the animated one. Yeah, that yeah. sounds that sounds stupid, but it, it just looks it's so just, good. It, it looks, looks so good. Like it, it makes you think like someone painted that themselves. Like, no, no, it just looks so real. Like it just looks so. It looks so like they well just copied done. and pasted it from the show. Yeah, exactly. The, that, that's what I'm. It's hard to explain, but trying it just to, looks trying to go from animation to live action. And they did perfectly. Yeah, it looks really good. Sabine, I, I think. she cut the hair. She's looking. She's looking back how she used to look. Uh, she got the helmet. She got her suit back, Mandalorian suit. Uh, you know, Ezra's still out there, lost. I don't know what happened to Ezra. We still don't know. Um, we know Thrawn's back, but what the hell happened to Ezra? Yeah, exactly. M- you know, um, he get lost somewhere. Else. Mention of Anakin as well by Ahsoka. We're, We're gonna training. get a lot. We're gonna get a lot of Anakin references from here. Possibly even see the man himself. Yeah. You know, as a flashback. I I I hope so. I really do hope <laughs> so. Um, Hayden Christensen flashback. You know. Sabine is, is apparently training underneath under Ahsoka. Yeah. Uh, to wield uh, Ezra's lightsaber. Ed's, Ezra's because it's a green saber. Ezra's lightsaber. Yeah. She's clearly not force sensitive, but you know at least to wield the, the saber and stuff like that. She Ahsoka's teaching her. It looks like she also distanced herself from Sabine for a while, and now she's coming back because of Thrawn. Yeah. Hera Syndulla coming back and you know pleading with the Council and stuff like that. They need to put their attention into Thrawn. And, I mean, they have to. This guy's a threat. This guy's oh, a, yeah. uh, you know, high-level threat, by the way. This guy's a high-level threat. You know, we might get some references towards Moff Gideon here, maybe. Maybe. Because um, this is... This is... When is this timeline? I feel like it's after Mandalorian. It's after Mandalorian. I think that's where we left off last time. I... I I can't remember. I remember. I I knew this information before. I just can't remember now. If you guys are watching this, let us know in the comment section down below. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's after. I'm a, I'm ninety percent sure it's afterwards. Um, that event. So we might get some some. Moff yeah, Gideon. you know why? Because I remember Moff Gideon talked about wanting to take down Thrawn. Thrawn, yeah. And Thrawn. He in hasn't this show, been revealed yet until now. He clearly he has just came back the big dog now yeah came back or he's he's under control he's in control right now yeah. in the shadows i remember okay that. it makes sense yeah you're right you're right i remember that scene this is after um that event so we, we might talk about moff gideon what happened there with the mandalorians yeah uh you never know we might get some ties with the actual mandalorians i mean we might see Bo again maybe Mando, yeah. i doubt it but maybe Bo, Bo katan yeah maybe get some of her uh i mean also uh, what's his name? Them Rao. I think he's the other one. That oh we yeah. See. yeah, yeah. Rebels. Um, a Zeb. You know, clearly we saw Zeb in Mandalorian. Yeah, there's room for Zeb. Went over my head. Yeah. When first, if you go back and watch her reaction to that episode, it went over my head. I thought it was just another Sot species that happened to be a, a rebel and happened to be a pilot, but it was actually it was Zeb himself. Zeb himself. In the credits, we saw Chopper. Yeah. Right. We That's saw Ezra too. live action Ezra. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna. It's, it's gonna cripple me a little bit in sight, but there's gonna be references towards Kanan. I know, it has to be. And then we might even get live action, maybe, or or some type of reference towards him. It's maybe gonna hurt me. Flashback would be wild. It's gonna hurt me because you know what, Kanan's death I think has to go down to one of the saddest deaths in in Star Wars, the Star Wars universe. Not, I'm not saying it's a top one, but it's it's up there. It's pretty sad it's because I mean, it was just pretty because sad. of the whatever, whatever, the however you feel about the Rebel show, because I know it's a lot of mixed opinions. That was a sad death. Yeah. And it has to go down to one of the saddest deaths out there. And not not the saddest, but it has to go up there. Why it's it's them? a good, you know, if you ask someone what's the saddest death, I think they're going to say that one as well. But, yeah, it's just this whole series looks amazing. This is all Dave Filoni, by the I way. know. <laughs> this is all Dave Filoni. This is his masterwork. This is, he took charge, basically. Yeah. He's. Let me let me do it the the Filoni way. Yeah. All right. That's what he did, and that's what he's doing right now. It looks great. Inquisitors, other potential um, Sith, but I've heard many theories that they're not real th- Siths and stuff like that. They're they're halfway or something like because they're orange lightsabers. Yeah, By the way, that's the one thing. The, the what seems to be the the lead actor for the main Sith. Uh, I believe Ray Stevenson. He obviously passed away in yeah. real life, and that really sucks because we. 
this this could be his very last performance. Yeah. And just seeing him in this trailer, it looks good. Yeah. His performance looks good. And and not only that, but he was also Gar Saxon in the voice. Uh, yeah, for right. Clone Wars and stuff he was, like that. Yeah. So you know, if you've been following that side of it and the cast members, you, you you've heard him before. But seeing him in live action, I love it. I I, I like how he looks and stuff. Like design wise, he looks good. Um, don't really know what their story is. Mm-hmm. From what seems like we have their story, we have Inquisitors, mm-hmm. we have Thrawn. Yeah. Three diff- different things, and then rebellion. Well, now it's just the new the new republic. Yeah, exactly. So we also saw what's her name, um, Mon Mothma. Yeah, she, yeah, we saw her there too. Um, so it just, uh, I can go on and on and keep talking about this show. It just it <laughs> has to be. It, it probably will go down to one of my favorite Star Wars shows. I'm saying this right now. We all thought Kenobi was gonna be, you know, the the shit basically. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of mixed opinions on that. And up to this point, I feel like the king of shows right now has been Mandalorian. Yeah. Um, the Bad Batch is up there, slowly coming up. There oh as yeah, well. yeah, it's, yeah, it's up there. Endor as well. Endor's Endor definitely was up there. was was really good. Endor was slept on. All right, when it you came know, out, it was slept on. It, it, it such a good show. Yeah. Diego Luna did so well. Everything about Endor was just so perfectly well. It, it just reminded me what they did for Rogue One, and yeah. Rogue One itself is it's a very good show. For it to be able to categorize, you know, be able to stand by itself, basically, it's a very good show. Oh, I mean, I good movie, and I one of my favorite movies as well. So, um, if they let this man cook, as they said they would, this show might become the next top tier. I know there's been Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi was really good. That was good a really well. good animation. It was really well done. Yeah. I loved it. I would go back and watch it again. But I feel like Tales. Of, I mean, I feel like Ahsoka has the potential to be. You know, even higher. They, higher. Yeah. <laughs> Just they, if they really let the man cook, I feel like it can be higher. Yeah. We love Ahsoka. We love the characters, Sabine, Hera. We we we. I mean, most of us like the, those characters. Yeah, we yeah. did like Rebels. Um, and Thrawn is just it's just, you know, that's just yeah. It's just a cherry on top. It's just a cherry on top, and 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 because of Thrawn, this makes the show even more more appealing even more you know people are gonna watch this yeah, yeah exactly. and it has so much potential and I, I and I hope Dave Filoni really does explore Thrawn's like full potential because we've seen in other productions in other films Marvel specifically how their their villains are sometimes not portrayed as they should yeah yeah right and it doesn't you know it feels it rushed flat. it feels falls flat yeah <clears throat> Kang um, yeah you know I'm just excited to get into this excited to get into the show so if you stick around to the end right now thank you guys for watching um make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this reaction we're make sure you subscribe make sure you you hit the notification bell because we are gonna react to ahsoka and you do not want to miss it we we're gonna be here sharp i don't care we need to miss whatever we need to do <laughs> with our real lives we're gonna record it it's gonna come out Right now, currently, we're reacting to Secret Invasion. So if you want to go check that out, that episode should be out right now. Episode f- uh, four. 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 Episode yeah. four. That should be out right now. If it's not, give it a couple minutes, an hour the most. You might see it right there. Um, or you're watching this already when the episode came out. So you can go check that out right now. Episode four um, of Secret Invasion. So if you're watching that show as well, we did the reaction. As well, we do, we're currently doing Visions as well. We brought out the first three episodes of Visions so if you're interested in that show. Totally forgot about Visions, but Visions as a show is kind of... Yeah. Season 2 is better now, but definitely it's still down there. It's still down there, in my opinion. So if you're interested in those, those are what we're, those, those are uh, those are a few things that we're doing right now. Uh, you can go check out other previous things, Star Wars that we did. Tales of the Jedi, The Bad Batch, The Mandalorian, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm just, I, I just got to say, Star Wars has been cooking with the show. <laughs> right? It's been cooking. It's been a hit or miss here and there, but it's, it's mostly been cooking. Compared yeah. to Marvel consistency compared uh, to marvel and quality, quality yeah. wise i mean, i feel like star wars has has a couple less misses than what you yeah know, marvel um marvel has had its uh, ups and downs had its slopes a, yeah it's, it's just in a slow pace right now it's slowly coming back up right now with secret invasions but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction if you have any theories any cool 
facts about Ahsoka, anything you guys noticed in the trailer, any Easter eggs, anything like that, of course, leave it in the comment section down below because at the end of the day, we're nerds of Star Wars. We love Star Wars. And just like you guys, <laughs> we're here for a purpose as well. So if you have any cool facts, anything you found interesting in the trailer, cool facts, anything you know about the theories, whatever, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Hopefully we'll see you guys here whenever... Uh, when the Ahsoka series does come out, hopefully you'll be around to watch our reactions then. Um, but with that being said, take care. We'll see you guys in the next reaction. There's going to be other trailer reactions coming up as well. Blue Beetle. Um, Willy Wonka. Willy and Wonka. Napoleon. Napoleon. Those are just a few things that are going on right now we're going to react to. So you can check those out as well. But other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, may the Force be with you. Always.